It's now time for What's Up Asheville, sponsored by the city of Asheville, with the host, Mr. Sam Parada, and here he is. Good afternoon, Asheville. Welcome to What's Up Asheville. After some weeks of not having a new episode, uh, my name is Sam Parada, and I will be your host today, as per usual. Now, with me, I have uh, Kristen King. Uh, she is the recreation program leader with Parks and Recreation. She's very happy to be here today to talk with me. Uh, why don't you say hi? Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me, Sam. And you're very welcome. Um, so, you know, before we jump into everything, I always like to have my guests speak about themselves, what they do, you know, what your department does in general. So why don't you give us a few minutes of, of you? So, like Sam said, my name is Kristen King, and I am the Recreation Program Leader for the Senior Opportunity Center. Um, I've been with the city for quite a while um, with Park and Recreation. What we do are pro we provide um, programs and activities and events throughout the city um, to cater to everyone from toddlers to seniors. And when you say you've been with the city for a while, that seems like a little bit of an understatement. Okay. So I've been with the city for seven years. Seven, seven years. Seven years, yes. And what have you done up um, until now? Well, um, I've worked in several of our facilities. I've worked at Lucy Heron, um, Montfort, Tempe Avery Montfort Center, Stevens Lee Center, and Harvest House, as well as Senior Op, where I am now. So that's what I love about the city sometimes is that you, you meet people and you see that they have been everywhere and they have, you know, different departments because parks and recreation is not the same as like communication with me. Exactly. But, you know, I started with IT and now I moved to communications. You started in so many, you know, yes. in that, such a different place. And well, here you are today. Yes, <laughs> I've enjoyed my time uh, moving around it. It lets you see different communities, um, different demographics that we serve, um, oh, as well with our events. We put on really great events and it just brings people out, makes them happy, makes them laugh. And that's what that's our goal um, at, at Park and Rec with Park and Rec. I love that. I know we have, I know Parks is hosting, what is it, the um, Hispanic Heritage Party? Yes, um, I believe that would be at... In October? Yes. In October, sometime yes. in October. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have a lot of programs and trying to keep up with everyone across the board. Um, yeah. With all our facilities, it, it kind of gets a little hectic sometimes, but... And you also, and you just finished work in the summer. Yes, I worked at Stevens Lee um, under Kim Kennedy and Nikki Kells, um, working with their teen program. Um, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed my time. Now I think I am a lake expert. I can paddleboard <laughs> yeah. and whitewater raft. Yeah, paddleboarding is not something I can ever do. I just I fall. I, I think I got it, and then my knees jiggle a little, and I fall butt first in the water. I, I was out there telling people how to do it. Get up there, balance your weight, standing up. Yes. Only thing was, I didn't have a phone to take pictures. So. Uh, well, next summer. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. So um, I invited you today to talk specifically about the senior up. So why don't you tell me as much as you can about it? Okay, so at Senior Opportunity Center, um, we are located uh, at 36 Grove Street, Asheville downtown. Um, we cater to the middle age senior population. Um, we offer programs um, across the board. We have health and wellness, recreation. Um, we put on citywide events. Um, we have monthly things that we do. Um, yeah, so we offer... Um, power hour, which is our exercise. We offer Zumba, yoga, um, all of it is gentle. It's not strenuous. Um, it's just to get you up and moving. Um, we also have guest speakers monthly who come and inform, excuse me, who come and inform us, um, inform our participants of the things that they might need to know, scams that might be going around. Um, That's very important. Yes, like, especially with 
the older population is very important. Um, estate planning, caregiver support, um, and just knowing their rights when it comes to insurance and just things of that nature. And these speakers, they're pretty local speakers? Yes, yes. we are in partnership with Council on Aging, Land of the Sky, um, a few insurance companies such as Humana, um, WellCare, United Health. Um, so we, we have these resources that we try to provide to our participants and those in a community who might not know where to start. No, absolutely. And, you know, education is such an important part of life. You know, no matter how old you are, you yes. always need, especially at that age when you need to, you know, if you don't have your finances yes. ready, uh, scammers target yes. the older population more than anyone else. And it is very important to keep them educated and how to, you know, avoid all that bad stuff and, you know, prepare yourself for the rest of your life. <laughs> yes, yes, it's it's very important. And I'm learning, I learn too, I learn things um, across the board when, when people come in to speak. Um, we, we have a good time, we enjoy people coming in. Mm -hmm. um, we also, we also offer things like monthly bowling Oh, okay. We, so we, are these we, like monthly events where you go out and do something yes, specific? Yes, yes. So our monthly events such as um, bowling, we also have a monthly Tai Chi program. Um, we go out, we take a van, um, and we just go and enjoy each other. Uh, we have quite a few participants who are really good. I'm working on it. Um, <laughs> I bowled at 86 the last time, so I'm really proud of oh. myself. <laughs> Um, cornhole is another very popular thing that we yes. do. Um, and like I said, bingo, that's weekly, but it is, uh, everyone loves bingo. Everyone loves bingo. <laughs> <Everybody>. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like bingo is such a cliche for like the older population to play, but anyone, you put a bingo card in front of me and I will be yes. so into it. <laughs> exactly. And we actually have people of all ages show up for our bingo game just because it's fun. You get out, you meet new people, um, and then it gives you something, a little something to do. And yeah. then you can go home and hang out or chill out. Love it. And so explain to me, you know, the hours of operation. How does this work? Do they show up in the morning and leave at night or? So we operate from nine to five, Monday through Friday. Um, we, most people come in about 10. We do have um, morning snacks and coffee and that's kind of our senior social time where they can cop talk and catch up and all those things. Um, and then we, we have, weekly programs so um like today for example we'll have card sharks come in those are bid with players they get really serious um <laughs> and then like we have crafts weekly we have um trivia we have a very competitive trivia thing that we have going on um storytelling is another popular program that we have um and so people come in in the mornings they get what they need we also are in partnership with council on aging okay. um, we are congruent meal site um, where people can come in sit down and dine in you have to be a registered participant for that but um we serve about 75 seniors in the every community day. every day wow. um That's we fantastic. serve lunch and then um, our afternoon programs begin about two o'clock. So two to five, we have um, card sharks and pottery, um, tai chi. So those are just a few to name. That's such an important thing you're doing, really, uh, just offering this this service out to the city. And I just want to, you know, side note, but if you're not being really in to trivia, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it gets really competitive, especially if it's a few prizes on the table. <laughs> oh, sign me up for the next one. <laughs> I'll be there. Yes. So you mentioned um, health and wellness. Mm -hmm. Is that, what is that? So our health and wellness is also um, a thing that we do with um, Council on Aging, providing a healthy meal. Um, and that's how we try to keep our participants educated, up, moving, um, doing things so to keep them healthy and to keep their minds going. So like trivia and bingo are things that kind of um, 
go with exercise the, the yeah, brain. Yeah, like exercise <laughs> the brain, the physical, the mental, all of those things. So, um, so that's when we bring in guest speakers. Um, like this week, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, we will be offering a flu shot clinic okay. and a blood pressure checks. And then Friday, we um, will have someone coming in testing for A1C. So, um, blood sugar. So, it. it's just one of those <laughs> things where we bring people in to keep them educated, um, check on them. Um, and then if they have questions, those people have resources to connect them to. And so they can be as healthy as long as they can. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, so how does one register? Does it have to be, can it, can it be in person or do you just do so it online? You can, anyone can show up. Most of our programs are free. Um, you can look us up on AVLRIC.com dot gov um to see our online catalog but you also can just stop by the center anytime excuse me you're good and um we have like i said the monthly calendars that we offer and it tells you everything from the time we begin to the time we end the day um everything that we're offering even if it's something small as puzzle time yeah people enjoy that um so yeah yeah and you mentioned that most activities are free. Do uh -huh. some of them have a cost attached to them? Very seldom. Rarely. It's very rare, rare yeah. for us to um, uh, ask for a fee. Um, through the city, they they provide that for us. So okay. Like bowling, if you show up and, you know, if you need transportation, we, we have it. If not, you can drive and meet us there. But it's just a time to have fun, meet new mm -hmm. people, and try to test your skills. <laughs> <laughs> I am really bad at bowling, so that's one event you can, you know, forget to invite me. <laughs> I'm getting better. I am getting better. <laughs> Once you hit the three digits, yeah. you'll be golden. I'm not. Nope. Not there You're, you're <laughs> close. You're close. <laughs> so what are some other upcoming events that you have going? So um, we do have quite a few upcoming events. We have... Um, this month we have a cake bake off. We did a pie bake off <gasps> in the spring. Oh wow. So we have a cake bake off coming up on September the 29th from two to four o'clock at the center. Um, what participants will do is bring their cakes in. We will number them and then people go through as like a tasting. So they mm -hmm. taste this cake and they um, judge it on like taste, presentation, um, and just the overall cake. Um, and then at the end we tally up the scores and we normally have a first second or are third there prices uh, i'm sorry are there prices yes we do have prizes okay. um our cake bake off they got really good prizes like <laughs> it was great um so i'm i'm excited to see what we put forth okay. for the cake bake -off. real quick story um i participated in one of those before really my cake came out as hard as a brick <laughs> So it lost on the texture and flavor aspect, but we won first place in the looks. Yes. However, the next day I went, this was like during a summer thing. Uh -huh. uh, the next day I went back and my cake was being used as a door stuffer. <laughs> so maybe that's something else you don't invite me for. You, you can just come in and taste cakes. I'll taste the cakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Taste the cakes. <laughs> yes. Um, we also have a casino day party coming up October the 8th, um, and it, it is at the center as well from 4 to 7 o'clock. And the center will be set up casino style. Mm -hmm. Everyone will get them some fake money, uh -huh. and we will just, <laughs> you know, have fun. I'll uh, gamble a little bit, but all in fun. You know, all, all in yes, fun. It's no yes. real gambling. <laughs> no, no. I don't think they would appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, in October, we have um, a greenhouse of horrors. Ooh. So we have a greenhouse at Senior Op, and we're going to set it up to be almost like Little Shop of Horrors, if anyone ever mm -hmm. remembers that movie. Um, that's where kind of got the idea. Uh, but it'll be set up, and that's um, 4 to 8 um, on Halloween, October the 31st. The 31st. Yes. Okay. Mark it down your calendars. <laughs> yes. And, I mean, all these things you can find in our catalog, our uh, Parks and Recreation catalog that all the centers have one. You just have to stop by and get one. But something else to look forward to, Thanksgiving, we have a potluck, Thankful Thursday. And then in December, we have a bubbly brunch. So bubbly brunch. Definitely be on the lookout for those events. There. Do you have the dates for those right now? 
So or, or are they stealing the making? They're, they're kind of stealing the making. Um, I would give you a date, but I don't want it to be wrong. So it's I in the catalog. I really <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> it is in the catalog, and you can find all those things. Um, yeah, that will be coming up. Um, but And can you find this information online as well? Yes, yeah, so the catalog is also presented online in an online type um, catalog. Um, but it tells everything across the city. So what every facility is offering, okay. um, when, when, how much it may be. Um, so yeah, that's definitely worth picking up because we have great programs. Each center is putting out really tremendous things. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people miss out just because they don't know it's happening, yeah. but I feel like parks is one of those departments in the city that does so much work and puts in so much efforts in the many different events that they do. Um, so can, can you remind me again where to find this information online? So it's AVL Rick, the one word, um, dot gov. And you should pull up, it, it'll pull up a couple of tabs, but click on Park and Recreation and it should bring up the catalog. Great. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no, you, no, you're fine. <laughs> you definitely can find um, our things advertised on Facebook as well as Instagram. What's the name of the accounts? Um, Asheville Park and Recreation. Asheville, I follow them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, well, that, that, that's just so much information on what was, you uh, do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there any more you think that we've skipped over or is does that really, you know, well, um, I do have some exciting news. It, oh, it's I love coming exciting out. news. Um, we are the Senior Opportunity Center. However, um, council just voted for us to change our name. We would like to do more outreach to the middle age adults and um, the senior population. So, um, so I'm sorry, I lost my train. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize about that. Um, I know. So stuff is going on behind the scenes here. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so, um, what's the, what's, what's the new Oh, name? so our new name yes. is Grove Street Community Center. So you'll see that coming out. Um, we've been working really hard because not only do we cater to seniors, we also want those who may want to participate in Zoom, but you don't have to be any age to come in and participate. And that's something that we would like for the community as well as the city to know that you are more than welcome to come in and, you know, do some Tai Chi or some gentle chair yoga yeah, and meet no. new people. That's really smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of times, you know, I, I feel like I'm in that age range where I'm not a youth anymore. Mm hmm but I'm also not a senior either. And I feel like that really blocks out a lot of the things that exactly. I could be doing. Exactly. Um, so this new name is going to make it more inclusive while yes. still yes. aiming at you know, the senior offering population. the senior population. Yes. Love it. Um, yeah, because we want people to just come out, get up, get moving, um, and come participate. I mean... We had a Mardi Gras and a senior prom, and we've offered all types of things, but with the name, sometimes people, like you said, it deteriorates yeah. from coming. So we just want people to know you are more than welcome to come to 36 Grove Street. 36 Grove Street. And, okay, so you've told me so much about what you do and what you're going to do. Um, why don't you give me a little backstory on the history of this center, if you, if, if you know it, because I know you've been all over the place. So there was a whole article that came out about this um, yeah. a few months back uh, because we wanted to change the name. I know that our center has been in operation for many years. I mean, I'm probably talking 50 years. It's oh, my been, God. It's been around and catering to seniors. That's, that is the ultimate goal. The main um, goal. Yes, and it's been a lot of people to come in and out of there. Um, I mean, it's like dance lessons, and they took trips, and just kind of the same thing we do, but kind of just in a bigger format. So okay. um, now we're just trying to reach out to those people um, who might feel a little young. Um but yeah, um, it's it's a lot of history. It is, I believe you can find it on our website because it went with 
um, changing the name. Okay. I wish I could remember everything on that paper, but I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> That's Just okay. That's okay. Perfectly honest. <laughs> I mean, you. How long have you been with the senior center? So I have been with the senior center at, with the, um, throughout my seven years, probably three. Three. Three yeah. years, um, off and on. I started under Kim Isley, um, and she was wonderful. Um, yeah, so I've been there learning the um, tricks and trades of it, mm -hmm. um, helping out. At the time, I was not permanent, so I was helping out the permanent person, um, but really just seeing how that center operate and how we cater to those people who, you know, we become everything at Senior Art, believe it or not. Like, yeah. We become a technological, um, <laughs> like people, and then we become nurses. We become like all types of things that up there. So you know, I think that just comes with working yeah. for the city. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a jack of all trades. Type yes, thing. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I mean, same with me. You know, mm -hmm. I, I love doing this radio show, but yeah. <laughs> on my first day with communications, they just pulled me apart and they said, "Hey, Sam." you're going to be the next host of yeah. Ricardo Lives. And I'm like, I have never <laughs> hosted a show. <laughs> but yes. here we are. But here we are. This is my first time on the radio, so everybody bear with me. Right. Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> so, um, but now, you know, after three years, yeah. I feel like you're going oh, to be I the main it. face I love it. of the Senior I Opportunity do. Center. I, I totally enjoy, um, I really enjoy working with people, working with kids throughout I mean, just people, um, but I have gotten a, a very soft heart for the center. I, I've watched, people have watched me grow. I've watched them grow, um, bringing new people in. Um, unfortunately, we lost a few people, um, but just kind of being that person that they see and, you know, we do our very best as city employees. You know, if we can do it, we definitely will try our best. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I've been around, I've worked at several different facilities, um, but I've grown with these people. I really have. Yeah, and that's, that, that's the connections yes. you make that yes. are really make it worth it. And COVID, it was hard through COVID, um, not really getting to see them. We were still serving lunches. It was just um, only to go. So yeah. you could ride through and get it just due to the pandemic and the rules. Um, but since we've been back open, we we find new people who are finding us and new programs we're creating and, um, you know, just getting back on our feet after COVID and um, just going with it, like yeah. enjoying it. You know? Back stronger than ever. Yes. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. the goal. <laughs> and so, you know, do you see yourself working with a senior center for more time to come? Well, let's say that's all going to depend on the city, but um, <laughs> I don't mind going, you know, I don't mind going across the board because it keeps you fresh. Yeah. It keeps you mm -hmm. um, knowledgeable about things that are coming to our city and how things are changing. So it just kind of keeps you on your feet and on your toes. Um, yes. Just staying in there and really just being in there diving in head first so mm -hmm. i love working with my seniors <laughs> um but if they call me to say hey we need you here i am definitely there uh, my kids always mess with me they're like mama you know everybody <laughs> like, i do not know everybody <laughs> not <laughs> like, yet not I yet don't know everybody but you know just working with this um job working in it with for the city and park and rec you do you get to know lots of people across the board yes. and different aspects of life and so i i find that one of the most rewarding things about the job oh absolutely yeah yes. and i'm sure you've learned a oh. lot since you started it oh yes and they have bared with me throughout the process <laughs> they still bear with me so. <laughs> yes so um but learning who you are as well as the people that you cater to is it's yep. one thing that you cannot put a price on like yep just oh no <laughs> i just was gonna say um i spoke with someone who's been mm -hmm. with the city for i think going on nine years oh. and this person told me something that struck me as really funny because they said i still don't know what i want to do when i grow up <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, you are, you know, management position. Yes. You've been here for so long. <laughs> and you tell me you still don't know what you want to do when you grow up. That just tells me that you learn something new every, every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. And, you know, the opportunities for moving yes. in the city are very awesome. flexible. They are awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, um, moving up, moving across departments, like, you know I was <laughs> I was with IT for yes. going up at five months, yes. and now I'm with communications. Yes, so. and it's a lot that goes along with that. You know, so many departments, different departments, and, you know, so many ways that we you know we all we go in yeah, yeah mm -hmm. we, we collaborate together so um that's the that's another thing i love that you know it's a lot of opportunity for of opportunity mm -hmm, for employees whether you want to move up or move across or whatever they are definitely willing to train you um get you the training that you need you might have to go back to school or you know but they're definitely yeah. willing to support you in very the utmost way yes very <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, so, I mean, not to say, you know, everyone I've yeah. met so far yeah. has been outstanding. Great. Just outstanding. Great. Yes. So, you know, that, that's something that I'm really happy about. You know, I just met you today. Yes, we did. <laughs> We've been talking across emails. We've but... been emailing, but, you know, I just met you today and I can tell so much about your character and Thank what you, you do and what, you know, you plan on doing for oh, us. Yes. And yeah, that, that's something that I appreciate a lot. Well, I plan on sticking with the city because I am a native of this town and working with Park and Rec is just like great. I wish I would have known that five years ago when I was graduating from school, <laughs> but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's okay. You know, we, we live and we learn, but um, definitely um, it's, it's a great place to work. I, I cannot knock it. Yeah, well, uh, you're you're so in touch with the community. Yeah, it seems it. to me that it's the perfect fit it's for you. Fine. It's so <laughs> well, um, is are there any last few words you'd like to say, or you know, where where do you plan on going? Or I guess not you, but the senior center oh, yeah. in general. You know, you told us about the the, the upcoming events. Yeah. But are there any last minute changes like, other than the name you see um, coming? Not. Not right off. You know, um, I just can't planning really events. Yes, but um, definitely, um, if you get a chance, stop by. Like I said, 36 Grove Street. If you have any questions, you can give us a call. All staff can answer the questions at 828-350-2062. And I'm out. Thank y'all so much. Oh, for no, it's not <laughs> I, I'm so bad at making hands. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, say that number again. Oh, so the <laughs> number, 828 is 350-2062. You can look us up. We're, we're still technically the Senior Opportunity Center, so I'm sure Google hasn't changed it over. Um, but, but soon can, to be. Yes, but soon to be. Um, and just stop by. Um, come get you a monthly calendar. Come have a cup of coffee and come check us out. We, we really have a good time. Well, thank you so much, Kristen. This has been a really thank fun you. interview. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> and to anyone listening, yeah, do as Kristen said. Go check them out. Say hi to Kristen. Have fun. Um, if you ever see me around, just say hello to me, too. Exactly. <laughs> But yeah, that's um, that's about it for today. I just want to have another reminder out. Your voice, your choice is out. You can find us uh, in, in our website at AshevilleNC.gov. You just click on the um, engagement section on top. And we just want to hear your voice, especially the people who have told us they felt their voices have not been included in the conversations. We are trying our hardest to get you talking and listen to you. So hopefully we can start making a change the way you want it as well. And again, that's your voice, your choice. You sign up and you'll get emails based on upcoming projects. You can tell us all about what your thoughts are and, you know, hold us accountable. And yeah, that's all the time we have for today for What's Up Asheville. Thank you so much for listening. And please don't forget to participate in the different projects that we have at the city and check out parks because they have a lot. And visit our website at AshevilleNC.gov to learn more about our different departments and what we can do for you. And stay tuned and we'll be back sooner rather than later <laughs> next time. Uh, to talk about other city projects in the near future, right here on WRES 100.7 FM. 
take care of one another, Asheville. You've been listening to What's Up Asheville, sponsored by the city of Asheville in collaboration with WRS 100.7 FM. This program will re-air every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1230. Thank you for listening.